Hi everyone! So this is a spring makeup look. So if it's something that you're interested in, trying a, a bit of a mix of green eyeshadows and some pinks and things, then yeah, have a little go by all means and let's see how I do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is prep my skin. So I'm going to use my kind of normal one, which is the Aqua Priming Base by Makeup Revolution. Mmm, nice and soaked. Doesn't smell too bad this one either. And then we're just going to wait for that to dry down a bit. Uh, in the meantime, what I'll do is start basically prepping my eyelids. So I'm going to be using, um, basically, it's a cream eyeshadow by Kiko. And it is this lovely kind of colour. So I just want a little bit of the shine to come through from it. It's got a little bit of um, glitter. And this is Cream Crush in number nine. They don't have names per se, but yeah, just numbers. So that's what it looks like. It's nice, slight golden, a little bit of glitter. You can use a brush to put these on if you want, but I think cream eyeshadows work best with fingers. And it doesn't matter if you're a little bit sloppy doing this. It's all right. Okie dokie. So that's my skin settled down a bit from the primer now. So I'm going to put my foundation on. So I'm just going to be using one of my favourites, which is the Maybelline Fit Me in 102, which is really, really pale and I love that. So it's called Fair Ivory. And then for concealer, I'm going to be going in with the Maybelline Eye Eraser. This one in the lightest colour they've got which I can't see on there anymore. Oh, it's just called light. So it is a little bit dark for me, I do feel. But it is really nice. Okay, so that's the concealer on. So next I'm going to do my brows. I am loving this just now. It's the NYX Tinted Brow Mascara. Um, I don't like that really kind of overemphasized eyebrow and I think this makes it a lot more natural looking. So I tried two colours, I tried the blonde and the brunette um, and even though I am kind of dark blonde naturally I find the brunette one just works a little bit better for me personally. It's not like a, a huge difference but it just makes them stand out a bit more and these annoying hairs that I have here it just really seems to pick up on them so yeah I love this. And this is also really good for showing you when you need to pluck your eyebrows because it picks up on all the tiny little hairs. Um, so I don't generally pluck above here. So if you do get any of the kind of the gel solution there, then I just get my beauty blender that I've used my concealer on and just kind of pat it off. Cool. So I want them to have a little bit more shape. So I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Definer Pencil and this one's in top. I like that it's got a wee spilly on there as well. There we go. Brows are on. Uh, and next, it's going to be about the eyes. So on this spring look, I wanted to use some more spring colours, obviously. Um, so I'm going to start with a uh, yellow on the inner corner of my eye. Um, so I think yellow is one of the colours people are quite scared of, but you don't have to be. Um, so yeah. Okay, so I don't have many yellow eyeshadows, so I'm going to be using this palette. Uh, and this is by Terry, and it is number two colour design. So I'm going to be using this yellow colour here, which I like very much, and it's not too, you know, kind of in your face. Um, but I guess we should probably do the crease first, actually. So I'm going to be using the Makeup Revolution, the Contour Light and Shade Palette. And I like this palette very, very much. There we go. So that's the crease done. And now let's start on the inner corner. So it's not like a, an obnoxiously in your face yellow this. I can make it a bit more intense by making a foil, but I really like it. And then I want to keep the greens quite soft, quite subtle. Um, so I am going for this palette, which is Makeup Revolution, and it's called Fortune Favours a Brave. It's a gorgeous palette. It's got almost 
every kind of colour that you could ever want in there. You can do almost every single look with it, so it's really, really versatile. And it certainly didn't cost too much money. So I am going to be using this kind of green here. And yeah, it's got a really nice mirror on it as well. So that's that green on. And you can see it's not like a, as I said before, it's really not a kind of loud in your face one. It's more kind of a, what would I call that? A kind of bronze green, khaki-ish almost. So then I'm going to take a slightly brighter one now and just basically use this for the outside areas. And there we go. So I will be blending this all. Generally I like to put most of my colours on and then blend everything after. So I'm just going to start dragging this onto the lowers. Just a tiny bit. And then what should we use on the lowers? So I think I'm going to use that yellow again for the lowers just to kind of brighten it up a little bit. And there we are. And then we're going to just blend everything. So there we go, that's all the eyeshadows on. Um, so for eyeliner, I don't want to use anything as stark as black because I want to keep it a soft look. So I am going to be going in with my Inglot eyeliner and this is in, it's a brown, but it's basically 530, shade 530. I really like this one because it's really nice and soft and creamy. So it doesn't give you like a huge difference, it just gives a little kind of subtle And then it has this built-in kind of little uh, kind of rubber smudger, so you can use that if you want. I'm not generally a big fan of these to be honest, but this one's alright. And then a little bit of mascara, so I'm going to use my favourite mascara, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Legendary Lashes. And there we go, that's that on. So now, better do the rest of the face, eh? Because it's looking a bit stark now. Uh, I think actually I'm going to use a, a bronzer for this instead of kind of a true contouring kit. So I am going to use the Bronze and Glow from Makeup Revolution. I love makeup. Very subtle look. I don't want anything really brightening in your face for this at all, just a little kind of pop. And for blush, I'm going to be using blush from Sleek. Uh, what colour is this? Rose gold. It's supposed to be a dupe for the Nara orgasm. And yeah, it's not too far off. Um, it's really nice blush. I think what I like so much is it's really buildable. So for somebody like me who's mega pale, it doesn't just give you that like horrendous boosh of colour straight away. You just kind of build it up. There we go, a bit of healthy colour, you know, springtime, fresh and pink and all that crap. So, highlight, I am going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Nicole Guerrero one. Um, and I'm going to use this one, the golden one, Glow Getter. I really like this palette. It's a really nice highlight. Pricey, but really nice. And then what I'm going to use a little bit of this for as well is just going in on the inner corners. And then of course we'll blend that. 
and then generally when I put any kind of once I've got all these all going I like to blend them all together a bit more anyway fantastic and then I'm going to set everything with the Pro Artist HD Pro Finish Powder <laughs> see that cloud <laughs> maybe overloaded that a little bit too much <laughs> There we are, that is that on. So I'm going to set basically all of this now. I'm going to use my Profix Makeup Revolution Illuminating Fixing Spray and just basically drench my face. Mm. And then after that, it's all about the lips. So you can go for a soft pink. Soft is not really my thing to be fair. So I'm kind of really torn between two lipsticks for this look, to be honest. I've got the Barry M um, Genie and I've got a MAC One um, Amplified Craving or Craving Amplified. I'm not really sure which way around it's supposed to go. I really like them both. Uh, I want a pink for this look. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try the Genie lipstick. So let's get that going. Mmm, top hair. Nice. Yeah, that looks better. So there we go. That is a spring look. So we've got some nice pinks going on for the flowers coming out and grass and green ice and all that crap. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it. Goodbye. <laughs>